It's a great privilege to have here tonight some beautiful talent from all over the world. And my, one of my biggest and passions is definitely is Greece. So uh, putting all this together was something very special and unique for me. I would like to start off the symposium and invite a good friend of mine, Tony Lafreda from RBC Bank, which will be here as a honorary speaker and start off the event. Tony, get up here. So uh, my role here is uh, just to warm up uh, the mic for the rock star, Tom Pentefuntas, who will be uh, the moderator of the evening. And um, so Andre, first of all, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, welcome. Welcome here. And uh, you can always count on Andre to, uh, to pull out a very successful event. He's been doing it for years. And, uh, and I know that he, uh, he did it again, so congratulations, Andre. And to Andre's team, nobody does it alone, right, Andre? Everybody needs a team, so uh, he'll take the time to thank his team afterwards, but uh, to Andre's team. It's great to see a lot of familiar faces. As you know, I've been in the community for, for a long, long time, and it's always a pleasure. For me, it's a passion, it's a thrill to see everybody here. You know, export is very important. Import, export. 84% of Canada's GDP is based on imports and exports. Three quarters to the US. And we all know what's going on today and how important it is to the, diversify that. And if I was looking at some of the numbers from Greece today, and last year, I went to Italy last year because we signed more than a year ago actually, Time does fly, uh, almost a year and a uh, half ago. CETA, we went to negotiate CETA, the, uh, the uh, Canadian European Trade Agreement, and which Greece is also part of. And Greece has a, many of you don't know that, but Greece has a $300 million surplus in trade with Canada. Did you know that? No. $300 million. Amazing. It exports almost close to half a billion. And you know what? Mainly? Mainly? What would you guess? Mainly oh, what? Food products. <laughs> and, and, and so, and with a 300, with, a, with, with such a, there's 330,000 jobs in Greece that rely on the import export market. 330,000 jobs. So a lot of jobs. In Canada, if you would say trade partner, what number would you say we are to Greece? 12. We're the 12th trading partner to Greece. Not bad for an old man, the memory's still there. And then I test it once in a while. I want to test it once in a while. What do you think we export the most to Greece? Canada. What would we export? Tourism. Tourism. Believe it or not, furs, furs, all type of furs. Maybe leather, furs. Uh, in the aviation industry, so I think Bombardier and some of the aviation companies have a lot to play with that, and machinery. So furs, aviation, machinery. So of course, food is better than fur, aviation, and machinery, so they buy, they buy a lot more and sell a lot less. So, so they have a huge surplus, so there's a big, there's a large opportunity for Canadian companies to export a lot more to Greece. But all that being said, and I'd like to wrap that up because I'm just warming this up for you, Tom, right? So I'd like to wrap it up. And as I said, as Elizabeth Taylor said to her many husbands, I will not keep you long. And, uh, but um, besides numbers, what's important, what I like, and what drives communities to be stronger is always the sense of, oh, we're all Canadian. Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. We're all Canadian. But it's important, community is important. And one of the books I'm reading, The Outliers, I enjoy reading, what I enjoy most in life, a lot of people don't know, when I have a little bit of time, my house is almost like a library, and uh, once my friend uh, Leo Saka, his son came over, he said, Tony, did you read all those books? I said, not yet, but one day I will. <laughs> and uh, I'm reading, one of the books I'm reading is uh, The Outliers from Malcolm Gladwell. If somebody has read it already, or if you haven't read it, the next book you do pick up is Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. He's a genius, a genius. And in one of the stories, 
he talks about the strength of the community. And I'll, I'll wrap it up with this story. Uh, in a two-minute story, but worth listening to. One of the first immigrations that came to North America was from a little town in Italy called Rosetto. And the people from Rosetto immigrated to Pennsylvania way back in the early 1900s. And they did, they named the streets. The mayor obviously was Italian. They named the streets after Rosetto. They built a church like Rosetto. They built the houses like Rosetto. The families, they had duplexes and triplexes. The son lived upstairs, the daughter downstairs, the father in the middle, and everybody was always together. At night they'd get home, they'd, they'd have supper together, they'd, they'd play butchies together. And as cancer and heart disease started to spread in North America, the doctors would never see the people from Rosetta. So at one point, the doctors in Pennsylvania would say, why do they have their own doctors? They're mainly working class people. So they didn't have their own doctors. These people were not sick. So they said, so researchers flock to the town. They send, you know, the Americans, everything's done, packed, so the Canadians, right? Medical field, Research, researchers flock to the town. What is it? It's gotta be diet. What diet? They were eating prosciutto, pancetta, porchetta. They were cooking with lard. It wasn't diet at all. Then they said, it must be the exercise. These guys must be exercising. What exercise? All they did was play budget, walk up and down and argue against each other all night and swear at each other because which guy was closer. After years of research, they concluded that their well-being was because of the community, the strength and the support they had for one another. They'd share their objectives, share their... Their, their, their day, share everything. And, and that support was the reason for their well-being. So on that community note, because you know, as bankers, we always talk about numbers, and after all these years as a banker, I, I, was, I was counting them today, one of the rare days. Um, I didn't go see any clients because it was minus 30, they told me, so I said, maybe stay inside. I was counting the years, I started in 1984, so it's, it's been 30, 34 years, right, 35 years. I still have a heart. I still have a heart, and I said, let me share something besides numbers this evening, and it's the strength of the community. And when I think of the Hellenic community, I love the Hellenic community because I have many friends in the community. We've got to get to help Tom get to the next level and to help everybody in the community. And, um, but uh, most important two words that come to mind is the humility despite the success. We, we've already named out to her. And humility is not thinking less of ourselves, but thinking of ourselves less. And integrity, which is so easy to lose, but impossible to buy. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I want to present the one and only, the rock star, TPA, <laughs> the lawyer, the top lawyer who spent all day in court. I want to be like him when I grow up, you know? Tom Pente Funtas. Tony uh, wants to be me when he grows up. Uh, but in 1984, I wasn't even born, honestly. I want to be 20 when I come back. That being said, um, I want to thank you all for being here this evening. I want to take a, a moment before we get down to business to thank uh, Mary Deros for being here, the municipal council person for uh, Park Extension District. Adelaide <laughs> Velakis, municipal council person for Shaman. Here yet? No, I don't think he's here yet. Ioannis uh, Panayotou, president of AHEPA, is here somewhere. And I uh, see John Philosopoulos here. There he is. And I see my offer address to Moulis there, former MA for Laurie Dillion. And I'm sure I'm missing people, forgetting people, uh, but it's all good. I think. I'm really happy to see people here today, and I'm looking forward to Sunday as well, and I'll tell you why. I think this community is reaching um, a certain age where um, the issues that regard certain properties uh, that are found back in the homeland um, are taking up more and more people's time. And I think uh, the idea Andre had of assembling um, unique and highly qualified people from Greece and from Canada to help us deal with these issues um, of uh, people's uh, patrimony and um, the, uh, the uh, heritage and uh, the, uh, the wills and successions and all those issues of uh, property back and forth. 
Um, it's a crucial time. It's a difficult time. Anyone's had to do anything with uh, the public uh, uh, bureaucracy in Greece understands how difficult it is and how complicated it is. Just uh, opening a, a bank account is, a, is an absolute uh, nightmare. Um, so uh, to have to help us out with that is fantastic. And I've known all kinds of friends who, unfortunately, some of their parents or grandparents have passed and had to go back and deal with this nonsense. And they've spent a month there and they haven't gotten anything done. Um, so they're taking time away from their families here and from their uh, work obligations to deal with these issues. So if you can have people to do it for you that know exactly where to go and how to get things done um, in, a, in an efficient manner, it, it's great to have that. So um, I'm happy to see that we're all here today. I think this is a, a noble and worthwhile cause. And it's always nice to see the community get together. And I think Tony's 100% right, be it um, this uh, little town in Pennsylvania, or uh, Icaria and other places where they're talking about the uh, South Iran, and people that live over 100 years, besides the Mediterranean diet, obviously, which is just voted the top diet in the world. Once again, the sense of community um, is very important to, to belong to something. And I, I'm happy to see us all here together. And at any Greek event, I'm happy to see us. Not because we're you know, more Greeks than we are Canadians. We're all Canadians. Uh, but this, at the end of the day, is our community. And, um, it's nice to see us support, uh, supporting each other. Believe you me, it, it makes a difference at the end of the day. So here we are. Thanks for coming once again. And uh, let's get down to business. Uh, we have a few speakers that I think are going to come and speak to start the process off, and then there'll be questions. Is that the, uh, the program out there? I missed the rehearsal, as you can tell. So, uh, and I was late today, but uh, I, I work for them. Um, so we have Chris Berlemi from uh, Golden Home. Chris wants to stand up for a second. Chris is a mechanical engineer, a civil engineer, um, and a master appraiser of real estate. So if you try to figure out what things are worth, he's the guy and he's accredited by uh, the court system in Greece and, um, and does a lot of real estate management as well. So he can help you out with those issues. We have uh, also Christina Carayani, who is an attorney. Christina is sitting right next to Chris, and she has a master's degree in common law and international criminal law. She has a criminal and commercial law practice in Greece. Uh, she's a member of the Greek Bar. She's the mayor, uh, a member of the, uh, the Bar in Cyprus as well, and uh, she is a founding partner at the Karayani Law Firm. Next to Christina, we have Irene Kamarianou, Kamarianou Kanakis. Ms. Marianou Kanakis. Kumarianou. Kumarianou Kanakis. And uh, she is, uh, actually she's born in the US, and she is a uh, Greco-American, I guess we can call her that, but she's lived in, in Greece for over 30 years now. She is also a lawyer, uh, no, I'm sorry, she is an accountant, uh, with 30 years of accounting experience in Greece. She is uh, educated in the United States, and she has uh, experience as a uh, financial controller um, on the corporate side, on the tax side, and, um, and, uh, and she is uh, running her uh, accounting firm in Greece as well. And fourthly, our resident Canadian, who goes by the name of uh, George Angelopoulos, a rather familiar name in Montreal, thanks to his father. And, And I was happy to see that he's following his father's footsteps by uh, practicing uh, tax law. All he's doing it at Richter, and his father was doing it at Phillips. So uh, nice to see you. It's unbelievable. Your father must have had you when he was 12 because uh, he's still such a young man. So without further ado, I guess we'll be starting with Chris Torlet. Is that right out there? With yourself? We have Andre, the star of the show. Andre's coming to see you. And 
μπορώ να προσθέσω, Ανδρέα, γιορτάζει σήμερα ο Αντώνης. It's your name day today. Yeah. You didn't bring cake, you didn't bring anything, uh, very disappointing. No, actually... You'll make it up for some other day. No, you're supposed to bring cake. I brought the tea bro. Thanks. Actually, it's true. It's uh, been very proud and uh, it's been supporting the Greek community for many, many years. And a dear friend of mine, again, Tom, uh, mentoring challenge and everything. Great person to be with. I want to thank them for their support and participation in tonight. They're a great town and I really like I would also like to thank the VIPs. I see them all friendly. Mary, Eclaia, John Tedesopoulos, my heaven buddies back there. Thank you for coming out for your attendance. The purpose of the Hellenic Symposium is to inform and facilitate all Greeks, both professionals and individuals, to take care of their affairs in, in Europe and uh, in Greece. I would like to thank our speakers who have expertise and knowledge who will guide us through their efforts. We aspire to promote our home country, Greece, and show the world the amazing opportunities this country has to offer, as will be brought forward by our guest speakers. Last but not least, I would like to also thank all the sponsors for their support in this event and their support in past events I've put together, and a special thanks to, uh, even though he doesn't want me to bring his name up, but a uh, very patriotic Greek, Jimmy Nikolaidis from Group Mira and Mantea, and I guess uh, you were the guy that brought all the Greek products in. I want to thank you for bringing all those products in, and uh, I guess that's why you're here tonight. Make sure we keep on your products. Uh, I would also like to thank especially two very talented ladies, very dear. I'd like to thank Panayota and Vasiliki for going beyond the call of duty. You actually probably forgot. Panayota is not here, but uh, up front. Uh, and I'd also like to thank the balance of the staff in the office for putting up with all their inconveniences, uproars while this event was going on. We took them adrift from their routines. I'd like to thank them for their patience and their support as well. So, without further ado, please enjoy your evening and our speakers' presentations. Thank you and enjoy your evening.